Welcome to this comparison between Tripo AI and Hyperhuman Rodan. This video is not sponsored. I'm the developer of the RPG Dungeon Forge Legacy, currently in development, and I'm sharing what I learn on this long journey. Tripo and Rodan are two tools for generating 3D assets. I use the same image in both tools, import them into Unreal Engine, and show them side by side. Which one delivers the best results for indie devs like me? Watch until the end for my opinion. Let's get started. For this comparison, I use the image of a medieval throne, which I generated using an AI image generation tool, Flux AI. This image allows us to evaluate performance in terms of both 3D model rendering and textures. With Rodan, it's super simple, just drag and drop the image, then click Generate. The generation takes a little time, always under 30 seconds based on my tests. Then, a window opens with the generated 3D model. You can view it from different angles. You can select a few options to influence the resulting 3D model, detailed, symmetric, edges or smooth, simple or complex, to use in-game, and more. Click Redo if you're not satisfied with the result, or Confirm to move forward. Once the 3D model is confirmed, you can adjust the material by tweaking the PBR parameters and reference strength. Let's generate the material. The textured 3D model is now visible from all angles in the preview window. Just like with the 3D model, you can regenerate the material if you're not satisfied, or confirm it. After that, you get access to a few options regarding the geometry and material quality, as well as the file type you want to download. For importing into Unreal Engine, I choose the FBX format. Let's now move on to the competing tool, Tripo. Tripo offers the option to use multiple images from different angles as a source to generate an object. You can generate a 3D model from an image with the same simplicity as in Rodan. There are a few options available before generation, HD textures, private or public model, number of faces, a negative prompt for what you don't want, settings for generating a character, and the engine version. Once the image is dragged and dropped, you just need to click Generate. The generation takes a bit longer than with Rodan, but everything is generated at once, the 3D model and textures. Once the generation is complete, a preview of the 3D model appears. You can regenerate the model by prioritizing fidelity to the image or giving the AI engine more creative freedom. By clicking on it, you get a full screen view of the 3D model. You can still regenerate up to three models for free if you're not satisfied with the generated result. You also have access to additional options like the model style, the tool you want to use the model in, read apologize for the number of faces, and the file format. Just like with Rodan, to easily import the 3D model into Unreal Engine, I choose the FBX format. All that's left is to click Download. Let's integrate the downloaded FBX files into Unreal Engine. We'll start with Rodan. All you need to do is click Import All. Rodan generates five textures but no material. So, you'll need to create a material and then drag the textures into it. Just connect the textures as needed, the PBR texture isn't necessary for the material. Next, you need to assign the material to the mesh. Next, I place the mesh into the level. I adjust the dimensions a bit to match the scale of the world. And here's what the mesh generated by Rodan looks like.
let's move on to Tripo. In the same way, you just need to click Import All. Tripo generates three textures and a material. By default, everything is already set up in the material, but there's no roughness texture. I create a constant node and tweak it to make the material a bit shinier. Now, let's place the tripo mesh into the level. After a few quick size adjustments, we have our two meshes side by side. Let's take a look at the source image and see which result is the most faithful. I'm not sure about you, let me know in the comments, but personally, I think Tripo generated a mesh that's closer to the source image. The throne generated by Rodan is way too bright, though that can always be adjusted. When zooming in on the meshes, Tripo wins again because it's much cleaner. To avoid limiting this comparison to just one generation, I generated another throne in a different style, both in terms of materials and shape. The shape is much less streamlined and, naturally, more complex. Here's the original image. Personally, I prefer Tripo's rendering, which looks less plastic. This can largely be fixed in Rodin's material, but Tripo does a better job without needing any adjustments. The same applies to the 3D model when you zoom in a bit closer. When I tested in mid-2024, Rodan was far ahead of Tripo, but things have flipped since then because Tripo's updates are more frequent and, more importantly, more significant. We'll see how things evolve over the course of 2025. What about you? Which 3D asset do you prefer, Rodan or Tripo? Let me know in the comments. Let's wrap up this comparison with a quick look at the pricing. With Rodan, as of March 2025, it's $24 per month for the basic subscription and $60 for a more pro plan. With Tripo, the basic subscription is $16, the highest tier is $112, and there's an intermediate plan at $40. It's worth noting that with Tripo, you get free credits each month, allowing you to generate a few 3D assets for free. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this comparison of the two best 3D mesh generation tools. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new content from this channel, specializing in Unreal Engine and AI.